Nelsonian. Uh, no one is safe in Game of Thrones, not even the main characters. That's why there's no main character in the Game of Thrones. Yeah, I, 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 I hear you. I heard that. Uh, Canaris, if anyone's a celebrity here, it's you, Hark. It's, it's just your hair that proves it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know uh, you know whose hair is also awesome? Ethan's. <laughs> oh, Ethan's! Uh, anyway, Kia Cheer, I agree with Iron Rubber Duck. You're doing very well with your live stream. Thank you! I've seen a few others to compare with. Nice amount of interaction and playing. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Art Mage, I really do hope you can find more time for streaming. An idea for streams as Dragon Age Acquisition playthroughs going for different romances. I would love to see your Cullen, Josephine, or Sarah romance. Well, I, I am currently actually doing a gay replay. I've said this um, a few times, but for those of you who didn't miss it, I'm doing I'm recording right now a gay replay of a new Inquisitor that is romancing um, the Iron Bull. He's adorable. He's so cute. Um, Andy is his name. He is a dwarf, a redhead dwarf. Um, because IB likes that. Uh, and he's so cute. He's so adorable. I love him so much. And I, I hope that you, I feel like you guys are probably going to love him too. Um, it's not going to be a full playthrough. I'm going to show highlights. So I'm basically, um, recording all of the cutscenes and virtually every single character interaction, every single time he has a conversation with a character, those are the times I'm going to, going to record and post up. So it's all story. It's all story. Um, so you get a chance to get to know him as an Inquisitor. And he's different from art. He's very different from art. Um, and uh, and then I, I also will be using um, Andy, uh, my Inquisitor, Dwarf Inquisitor Andy, to uh, make a lot of the choices that art doesn't make in my Let's Play so that I can play through those blindly. And you'll be able to see me react to those blindly um, based on the decisions that I didn't choose with art. And... I am going to make one more, at, at, min, at least one more gay replay where I'm going to create an Inquisitor to romance Cullen so that I can also um, react blindly. I've completely kept, I've purposely kept myself away from Cullen romances as much as I could, as much as I am able to keep away from them um, so I can react to his romance blindly because I heard that it's, it's good and I probably am going to be doing a lot of squeeing. Um, but she also um, will be highlights as well, not a full Let's Play. And any other choices that Art, between Art and Andy, that they don't make, I'll probably have her make. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, can't think of anything you need to change at the moment. Amsterdam does not care about anything. They're hippie central of the world. That's what I heard. Nelson, 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 Kathleen did a great character spotlight on the governor. Yeah, she did. Yeah, Kathleen Ems is great with, with that kind of stuff. She's a huge, um, a, a giant, not only is she a giant Telltale Games and Bioware fan, she's a giant fan of The Last of Us and um, uh, and uh, uh, Bioshock Infinity. If you if you like Bioshock Infinity, she has a bunch of Let's Plays, Let's Play videos of that too. So um, I would highly recommend her for that if you're a fan. Um, they're great. Death Battles, the one with Kirby with Majin Buu, is a big, huge pile of baloney. Okay, I haven't seen that one yet. Nelsonian, I agree, so is the Goku first. Okay, anyway, um, Dusky One, thanks, Hark. I'll definitely check them out soon. You're welcome, Dusky One. Uh, hopefully, you'll find somebody that you like. Canaris, I found you through Shally. Oh, I watched all of her Dragon Age and Mass Effect stuff. Yeah, Shally's sweet. Shally is very sweet. Um, I'm hoping to see her very soon when we when we start wrapping up our Dragon Age RPG campaign because I think we only have two sessions left. So I'm hoping she's um, she was sick the last time we had to meet. So I'm hoping, Shally, if you're watching, that you're getting better soon, if not already. Um, Vince rules. Who is your favorite DI DAI character? Um, surprisingly, not Dorian. Dorian's not my favorite. I love Dorian, but he's not my favorite, and not the Iron Bull. Um, so who's left? Cole. Cole's my favorite. And uh, going into the game, I kind of predicted that he would end up being my favorite. And when I met him in person in game, and he was spot on exactly the way I had pictured him to be. Um, yeah. Hugs for Cole. Uh, if you hadn't seen it, uh, Alexandra made the art right up there. The art. The art of art. Uh, Alexander made a drawing of Art hugging Cole, a chibi Art hugging Cole, which I absolutely love so much. And that's the closest that I'm ever going to have Art being able to hug his adopted brother, Cole. So, um, 
Cole's fantastic. Such a great, well-designed character. And uh, between his character design and his voice actor and the story behind him, I can't get enough of Cole. Um, the Iron Rubber Ducky. Hark, do you watch Dana Duchy or Fluffy Ninja Llama? Yes. Unfortunately, I had to unsubscribe with them from them temporarily. I, I had to unsubscribe from Dana Duchy and, and, and Fluffy Ninja Llama temporarily. I didn't want to, but the problem was their their videos. When Dragon Age Inquisition came out, they were putting posting a lot of videos that had um, spoilers, spoilers in the thumbnails, and some of them had spoilers in the titles. So because I noticed that was happening, I had to unsubscribe them so I wouldn't see them on my feed. Um, which is why when I make my Dragon Age, when I make my videos of video games, I try really hard to make sure that the thumbnails don't have spoilers and that the titles don't have spoilers because you all know how I am about anti-spoilering stuff and I try my very hardest to not spoil people, especially if they're just going through their, you know, going through their list of subscribers and be like, what's new? I don't want any of my thumbnails or any of my titles to spoil a game for you. So. Um, I hope that Dana Duchy and Fluffy Ninja Llama don't do that, but it's up. It's I mean, it's it's their channel. They can do whatever they want. Um, but once I'm finished my playthroughs, at least my first three playthroughs of Dragon Age Inquisition, then I'll they are I will um, uh, subscribe back to them. Um, but they are a huge resource. If you if you are wondering about scenes that you have have not seen, like what would have happened if if like we didn't do. A or B in Dragon Age Origins, how would that affect Dragon Age Inquisition? Both of them do a good job of showing a lot of the cutscenes that you might have missed, um, and that and that's great. I just don't want to be spoiled by them. That's the only thing. It's a double-edged sword. Um, Scottish Warrior 92's reaction to the Mass Effect 3 ending was enough for me to sub to him. I don't think I've seen Scottish Warrior 92's reaction. I've seen Scottish Warrior. I've seen Scottish Warrior. The red hair and the, the accent, guys. The red hair. I mean, how can I not love Scottish Warrior? <laughs> um, uh, but um, I haven't seen his Mass Effect 3 ending. I'm going to have to check that out. Same with Game Gamer MD83. Yeah, yeah. The, the, that, that whole Geekquisition, the whole Geekquisition, they're great. They're really great. Um, I admire them a lot um, be between Gamer MD83 and, and Scottish Warrior. And, um, I, and oh gosh. Not, not immortality. Is it immortality? No. Ability drain? Yes. Ability drain and ash. Um, it's so cool seeing that group of friends um, be so close together and just collaborating the stuff. That's kind of what I, what I, um, and I, what I see a lot between me and Shally and David and Reclusiarch and Riz and Lucky Jack Twenty and Soul Eater Carson. I'm trying really hard to form as as good, a, awesome of a community and meeting all these wonderful YouTubers. Um, and I've tried to reach out to uh, Gamer MD83 and reach out to Scottish Warrior 92, but I think they're you know they're pretty comfortable with their with their with their group, so I don't want to like I don't want to like impose or impede in their in, in their 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 um, with the group that they're what they have. So uh, Nelsonian Hark, who is your favorite actor on The Walking Dead? Mine's Andrew Lincoln. Um, actor. If you're asking me who's my, which is different from who's my favorite character, so who's my favorite actor who I think does the best job acting, not necessarily my best care, favorite character, but who does a really good acting. Honestly, the one that I always thought was very strong, had a very strong acting, I mean, I love Daryl, and I love Rick, I love, I love Daryl, and I love Rick, and I love Andrew and Lincoln, I love um, Norman, Norman Reedus, but acting wise, I love Glenn, but again, these are all characters. These are all characters that I enjoy. I always thought, um, I forgot the, the actor's name, but I always thought that um, the actor who played Maggie was was very good. Um, like, like there's there are so many scenes, especially in the last season, especially in the last season, there are so many scenes with Maggie that I thought she just did such a wonderful job. Um, not, not just this past season, but the season before. Um, I, I think that every time she had uh, she had to do something, it was solid. Uh, so I, I I think as far as as um, the ability to act, I think the actor for Maggie is my favorite. Um, Brian W. Been watching your To the Moon LP. Is there any 
uh, any other short RPGs you rec you can recommend. Uh, I did play. If you like games that have um, that require you to make a lot of morally gray decisions, um, always sometimes Monsters was a game that I played um, a few months ago, which I did enjoy. However, I have to warn you: if you are the kind of person who um, really likes happy endings and is not a big fan of, you know, sad or tragic endings, just know that it's very difficult to get the happy ending in that game. It's very challenging. You have to make very specific choices and do very specific things to get the happy ending. And it's just super easy to end up with a tragic or sad ending. So that's my only warning about that game. Other than that, um... Other than that, if you want something that's very emotional and unique, um, the Brothers, Brothers A Tale of Two Sons, um, I, it was a game that I enjoyed a lot. Um, that definitely got very emotional and it really affected me in a, it affected me a lot. It impacted me a lot. Um, and then, and, and that, that wasn't so long. Um, I'm trying to think what else have I played recently. There, there's also um, oh gosh, what is that called? There was a there was a game. It's on my playlist. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, that had a beautiful art style and had a really interesting story, where you played two characters. One of them was voiced by Elijah Wood. Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Eh, and that was also another point and click. It was a very well done point and click game. I'll f hopefully remember it. Maybe one of you guys can remind me what the game is called because I can't I can't look it up at this moment. Um, but that one was a very good short game as well. I'm trying to do a few more short games too. Um, really, anything Telltale. <laughs> if you like if you like this game, anything Telltale. I heard Sam and Max was really good. I heard good things about um, Back to the Future. If you're a fan, um, not sure about. I think there were some mixed reviews about Jurassic Park. Um, but uh, those off the top of that my head are. Are short games that 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 I think I would recommend. Is Asher Ginger? I think he might be actually. He might be. Uh, which is why Ethan Mars is always the better Ethan. Ethan Mars, I do like Ethan Mars a lot. Um, Jack Septicai says two million. Yeah, Jack Septicai. He's grown a lot. Um, but really, he's a sweet guy. He's a sweet guy. I, what I love most about Jack Jacksepticeye is he's always very humble. You wouldn't think it, like considering his personality, because he's so outgoing and so out there. You would probably first think at face value, this guy probably is a little full of himself or a little arrogant. He's not. He's really, he's a really humble guy who likes to put his viewers first. I admire that. I admire his attitude so much, and I really think that um, he's he he's so very well deserving of every single. Every single, um, uh, every single subscriber he has. I really wanted to, to, to interview him. I, I, he's one of those guys that I would love, that I admire so much, I would love to do a Let's Hang interview with him. I'm just afraid that, you know, he would not say anything. Well, maybe I shouldn't be afraid to at least ask him. Um, but it, it kind of, I don't know, I don't know. Because uh, a lot of, uh, I, I've been trying to focus my, that the problem is I've been trying to focus my, um, my let's hangs for rising, for rising YouTubers that I have come to respect and like a lot, whom I think needs to get more attention. And Jack Septicai is already getting a lot of attention. He doesn't need any help from me at all to get more viewership or to get more subscribers to get more attention. But I genuinely would love to get to know him and hang out with him as a person because um, because of how much I respect him and how much I admire the man, um, and because he has a really awesome sexy accent and is very easy on the eyes. But despite that, everybody take a drink. This counts. Everybody take a drink. He's charming. He's a really charming guy. Um, and I definitely fanboy over him. Uh, why Dusky? Because his name is Asher. Uh, Kinnair, if the decision was yours, what would you do with the Mass Effect 4? Prequel, sequel, side call. Ooh! Ooh! That's tough. You know what? Side cool would be interesting. Side cool would be interesting, especially if it still loaded your decisions. If you were able to do have a story that happened during Shepard's 
during Shepard's adventure. And it actually took all of the decisions that you made as Shepard and put that into the game as a side quill. I think that would be awesome. Especially because I think right now it's really hard to do a sequel based on the final... the, the ending of Mass Effect... You, you know what I'm talking about. Based on the ending of Mass Effect 3, I think it's going to be really hard to do a sequel right now. So I think maybe in order to give Bayer a little more time to figure out how they're going to deal with that, how they're going to deal with the ending of Mass Effect, that maybe they should start with a side call where your choices still matter. They still matter because it's going to affect what's going on around you while Shepard is doing her thing. It's just you have your own separate adventure. Um, I think that would be really cool. Uh, Kinnis, Dorian is not your favorite here. So, yeah, believe it or not, he's not my favorite. I, lo I love him to death, though. I love him to death. But Cole... Cole has a very special place in my heart. He does. So, um, it's not always the gays, guys. I don't always just go for the gays. What do you take me for? <laughs> I mean, I have no idea. Cole for, could very well be gay. I have no idea. But, anyway. Um, Cole was nicely different from the other followers, and I liked him a lot. And I understand why you like him. Oh, thank you. Now, Sonia, I still hope you remember my topics for the channel last stream, you know... Um, the Walking Dead TV reviews, 2014 Best Moments games. Really think it would fit your channel very well. Yeah, I, I'm hoping I'll have time. Like, like this this holiday season, I've had time to like catch up on my games and also on on stuff for my wedding. And I'm going back to work on Monday, so I'm gonna see how much time I have to actually make those videos. If I can't make the videos, I'm I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. I'll try, um, but we'll see what's on my plate. I want to though. I really do. If I had a chance, if I could, I would just make videos all day. Canaris, I know I mentioned this before, but please, Hark, for the love of Mythal, please do a live reaction to the anime Attack on Titan. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I have such a long checklist. Attack on Titan. Uh, so I have so many things. I have so many things on my list, guys. Um, let's see. Uh, Nelsonian, the actor for Maggie is Lauren. Thank you, Lauren Cohen. Thank you. And that's shocking because acting wise, she's not that many people's favorite. Really? Huh. I actually like her. Hmm. I mean, I mean, uh, d d Norman Reedus is a given. He's a great actor, and and I don't know. I like I like her. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it different strokes for Broken Age. Thank you. The game is Broken Age. Thank you, thank you. That's what I that's what I meant. I'm okay with sad and tragic as long as it feels like an ending, if you know what I mean. Nelson, I think Hark would really like to play Valiant Hearts. I've heard of Valiant Hearts. I heard that's really good too. I just haven't gone around to playing it. Um I'm going to go now. See you everyone. See ya, Bradley. Um Ken Canaris. Anyone here played Katawa Shoju? I have not. Dr Drastic Park is the only game I've never seen. Drastic Park. Um Winter Hurts, if you like point-and-click, you should try the Deponia games from Daedalic Entertainment, a German game studio, really great trilogy. Oh, one game that I really want to play that I heard... I don't know if this is a short game or not. Um, Dawnforge Cast recommended this to me. It's called um, Curse of the Necrodancer. Curse of the Necrodancer. Um, the soundtrack is awesome, and apparently what it is, it's it's a dungeon crawl game where you go through, you go through the dungeon and... It's there's like techno music playing like with a big steady beat, and you're supposed to do everything to the beat like move like move to the beat attack to the beat, and apparently the music is 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 fin like ridiculously contagious and infectious. And he thought me who enjoys like like would probably enjoy something like that. I don't know how long or short it is, um, but he said it was a lot of fun. And the other interesting thing about it is that you can even add. You can even use your own music. You can either use your own music as the soundtrack for the dungeons, which is pretty cool. Um, interesting concept. Uh, I don't know if I, if and when I will let's play that, but that's another thing on my plate that uh, my growing plate of games, unique games that I really wanted to try out. Um, if you, we need to find a way to get Hark on YouTubers React from the Fine Brothers. <laughs> I, that's another group that I love. I love the Fine Brothers. They're, they 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 do awesome awesome stuff. Awesome show. Um, I would love that. That would be fun. I don't think I'm nearly nearly famous enough for that at all. But I appreciate you think I appreciate you you thinking so. 
Melsonian, Hart, do you have an Xbox One or PS4? If you have an Xbox One, I recommend you play the game D4. Really an enjoyable game. It's not a Telltale game, but it really feels like a Telltale game. That's what I've heard. Uh, I actually do not yet have any of the most recent generation systems yet. I don't have an Xbox or a PS4 or a Wii U, like I said. Um, a lot of the games that I've been getting recently are games that I um, that are on PC because it's super easier compared to compared to a console game. It's super easy for me to record for my channel PC games. Um, if I am forced to record something like The Last of Us, for example, who which at the time was console only, PS4 only, it was it's a headache. It's a really annoying headache, and it's just. <sighs> Because my video card keeps crashing and I lose all the data and then I have to start playing whatever I was doing all over again. It's It was just, if I can avoid it and play something on PC, I will. Because it's just aggravating and it ends up not being fun. I end up losing fun when I'm too busy fighting with my capture card for console games. So as much as possible right now, I only devote to PC games as much as I can. Unless there really is an awesomely amazing game but as of right now, I don't have any of the most recent systems yet because I'm kind of saving money at the moment because I kind of need the money for, for stuff that's going on later on this year. Um, uh, the new Mass Effect will be a side call, so keep your hopes up. Oh, cool. I didn't know that they confirmed that. Mass Effect 4 is going to be a side call since it will be happening during Shepard's... Do oh, I did not know that. So this is all news to me. I've been, I've been missing out. But it won't have anything to do with the Reaper version, if I remember correctly. That's fine. I don't need it to be anything about the Reaper version. Can't wait for Persona 4. Let's play. It's an amazing game, and I think you would love it. That's what I keep hearing. Uh, Canaris, I want to see the sequel. I want to see Bioware write themselves out of the mess they made with the ME3 ending. It's kind of like seeing a huge train wreck get cleaned up. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Brian W., do you mean like Dragon Age, where the decisions made in previous have affected the world, but not directly affecting you? Yeah, 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 exactly. I think that's exactly the exactly what I'm saying. Dark Elf MZ, it'll have to do something to do with exploration of fringe space and or another galaxy if I'm not if I'm to tripping too much. Duskyo, my favorite Dragon Age Inquisition companion is Sarah. Don't ask why, I don't know either. Sarah started rubbing me the wrong way. Not art, but me personally. It it was it's it got to the point where it was so hard to predict. She was she seemed it was so hard to predict her, to predict what she wanted or didn't want. Like, it got a little annoying. Sarah, I think, ended up being the most, for me personally, she ended up being the most annoying character to me. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Vivienne, but at least with Vivienne, it's easy. I, I, I got Vivienne. I, I understood her. I knew what she liked and what she didn't like. Sarah, it seemed like a toss-up sometimes, and it confused me. And I guess it's just because I just didn't, wasn't able, never able to fully get what was in her head. I was never able to f understand her. So she ended up annoying me a little bit. I still, you know, kept her around, obviously. But, um, but yeah, those were my feelings on Sarah. But if you love Sarah, great. More, I'm, I'm glad you do. Uh, just my personal opinion. Um, oh, wow, so you do write down the topics. I try to. Did they ever make a... Let's see. Um... You added Attack on Titan on your list, Canaris approved. Um, almost serious gamers. Anyway, I think I will take my leave. Good day to you, Sir Hart. All right, good night. See ya next time. Um, Nelsonian. People love Lauren Cohen because of her personality and face, but they do admit she's not a great actor. That's what I've heard and seen the reviews for the episodes. Okay. Well, maybe I'm. Maybe I'm. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I could very well just have no idea what I'm talking about. I mean, I think she does have a cute face, but that wasn't why I liked her. Um. Uh, let's see. Code Geass is a really great series. Code Geass. I actually never heard of it. Uh, we have to hard buy Ark a decent video card. Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah. Actually, one game that I was very intrigued about that I would love to play um, is Quantum Break, which is an exclusive for Xbox, which is why I'm hoping it'll eventually go on PC. Quantum Break seems like the concept of Quantum Break sounds like a really awesome, awesome con concept. If you don't know what what the concept is, GamerMD83 actually talks about Quantum Break at great length, um, so she can give you like all the information about that. Um, let's see. Canaris. Well, the only thing that was confirmed about Mass Effect was that it wouldn't be about Shepard. I know there was a poll where people could vote, and Sequel was the most popular vote by far, by a fair margin. Oh, okay. 
Um, not Jelly Makeup Fund or whatever it's called. Um, the EA show last year mentioned exploring the galaxy. Don't remember them saying anything about different galaxies. Dark Elf and because it's going to be happening in when it does, Bioware themselves don't want to call it Mass Effect 4 since it would imply it continues the story rather than expand on the current one. Sarah looks like a donkey. I wouldn't go that far. Still love her though. Uh, I do think she's a great actor, not the best. Okay, fair enough. You haven't heard of Code Geese. Check it out and see if you like it. Okay, cool. Alright, I think I reached the end. So if you guys have some last minute, last minute things to say, go ahead. Otherwise, I have to get going and eat my food and look at my list, list look at my to-do list and see how much of that I can get done before before I have to go back to Monday and not be on vacation anymore because I've been on vacation for two weeks and I, yeah. But I've gotten very productive, really have. I've been posting a lot of videos lately. I hope you guys are happy. I've been trying to post a big variety of different videos because I can over the holiday season. Um, and once I get back into the working world again it'll have it'll probably go back to the way it was before so um enjoy your meals or online who is your favorite dragon age voice actor Ooh, ooh, okay um well this is okay let me get the obvious ones out of the way okay the obvious ones out of the way steve valentine alistair his voice, my gosh, he, like I said, he could be reading out of a phone book and I would be drooling over his voice. So Steve Valentine is Alistair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be, that would be subjectively, he's subjectively my favorite. As far as, you know, um, as far as other awesome voice actors, I mean, Claudia Black, come on now, Claudia Black as, as Morgan, fantastic. The quality of her voice, the way she carries herself in her voice, beautiful. Love her. Um, big fan of Cole's voice actor. Cole, Cole, like I said, spot on. It's hard to be able to portray a character as complex as Cole in his voice because he needs to sound creepy yet lovable. You know what I'm saying? Like... He's scary, creepy, you're not really sure what to think about him, mysterious, but he's still a likable character. And that's hard to do. And I think that the voice actor did a phenomenal job with him. That is extremely challenging. The other voice actor that I really like, um, even though a lot of people don't like her character, a lot of people don't like her character, voice actor-wise, I really love Vivienne's. I really love Vivienne's voice actor uh, as well. Um, especially with, with um, the video that uh, she had done, the voice actor did with Mary Kirby on Bioware Base and the Bioware Base channel. Um, love, 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 love that video with her. So, um, yeah, I, I would say those are my favorites. Um, uh, enjoy your dinner, winning cladding. Okay, okay. There you go, Hark. Do you watch PewDiePie? Uh, PewDiePie, okay. PewDiePie. So, I've tried. I have watched a few of PewDiePie's episodes, and the few episodes that I've seen of him is a little too much. Like it's a little. I don't know. I for those of you who enjoy PewDiePie, there's a reason why he has. Oh, he's has like the most subscribers in YouTube. I understand. I understand the appeal. I understand why so many love him. I, he's not for me. He's not a YouTuber for me. Um, I just feel like, I don't know, I just don't have that connection. The, the way that I end up um, enjoying a YouTuber is if while I'm watching them, I feel like I can have some sort of personal connection with them. Um, because there, there are YouTubers, and I'm not saying necessarily that, that um, I'm not necessarily saying that PewDiePie falls into this category, but there are YouTubers who I feel like they're on a stage. They're acting on a stage and they're trying almost too hard to be entertaining and to be cool. Um, and, you know, because, you know, and there's that distance. 
um, there's that lack of accessibility. There's that lack of... I, I tend to favor Let's Players that are more mellow, that are a lot more laid back, um, but still charming and entertaining and, and funny. And um, with PewDiePie, I, I, I just never was able to get that connection with him. I just don't, it, I, I just didn't feel it. Um, but again, if you love PewDiePie, there's he's tons of fans. More power to you. I'm glad you love PewDiePie. But he's just not for me. He's just not for me. I think he's a lovely young man. I think that um, he, uh, he clearly does a lot for the community. I love, I admire how he uses a lot of the money that he makes to charities and helping people out and helping other YouTubers out. He's great as a person. I think PewDiePie is great as a person. Um, but as a YouTuber, I, I, I'm not able to really watch him. I can't watch him as a YouTuber because um, it doesn't, it doesn't grab me. It doesn't, it doesn't um, grab me. But yeah, as a, as a, as a person, I think PewDiePie is a great person. Um, did you know that Morgan's voice actor is the mother of Morgan's son's voice actor? I did not know that. Huh. What is your favorite DI banter? It can be in a cutscene. Your My favorite D Dragon Age Inquisition banter. Okay. For those of you, I'm not. I'm going to try not to spoil anything. And I think a lot of you, as soon as I mention it, you're all going to be like, mm, I can't wait to see that scene. Um, the entire scene... The entire Wicked Grace scene. Those of you who have played or seen the Wicked Grace scene in Dragon Age Inquisition, you can probably imagine what my reaction would have been with that scene. That entire scene from beginning to end was, I loved it, was, was awesome. And what happens at the end of that scene, I could not function, you guys. It was ridiculous. Like ridiculous i'm so i can't wait to post that video up because after after that scene ended and after i recovered took me a few minutes to recover i was like oh my gosh people are gonna go crazy when they see my reaction to this to, to, to the wicked gray scene because it's nuts it was totally nuts i could not function <laughs> Uh, but you, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you if you've seen that scene or played the game, you know what I'm talking about. Um, okay. If you could form an adventuring party consisting of you plus three companions from any of the companions of any Dragon Age games, who would you choose? Okay, no question. Alistair's number one. Alistair's number one. Cole is number two. So I've got. So I've got. I've got a warrior. I've got a rogue. Because it would just be so cool. I just want to give Cole a hug. I really, Cole and I, I feel like we would get, get be, be such good friends. I, and I would so be so overprotective of Cole. I would want to protect that, that guy and just, just, just hold him and just never let him go and just tell him everything is okay. And, you know, I, I'll never forget him. And there's just so many things I, I, that I really want to do for Cole for his sake. So that's why I want Cole in my party as well as... Al there's other reasons why I want to wrap my arms around Alistair. But anyway. <laughs> um, and then I need a mage. Um, if I had Awakening Anders, I would love Awakening Anders. But not Dragon Age 2 Anders. If Awakening Anders is not available... I want to pick a mage. Oh, Dorian. Heck yes. How could I fit? Yes, Dorian. Hands down. Yes, absolutely. No, no. Forget, forget Awakening Anders. Forget Awakening Anders. Dorian all the way. Yeah, Dorian, Alistair, and Cole. That's like my dream. That, that's my dream Dragon Age team right there. So. <laughs> um, let's see. Scary level of character I know is Theodore Bagwell, aka Teabag from Prison Break. I've heard of, I've heard good things about Prison Break. My my brother watched that show a lot. Um, Winter Hurts don't like a style either. Yeah, I mean to each their own. To each their own. Different different strokes for different folks. Uh, Kia Chara, PewDiePie is fun in small amounts with large breaks. He is a bit too much at times or most of the time. Yeah, my opinion, of course. I agree with Kia Chara. Uh, Kinnairs, I understand why people like PewDiePie, but I don't really enjoy his work. I have nothing against him, but he's just not for me. Yeah, and and that's that's pretty much my honest my answer my honest answer and feeling. The Iron Bull 143. I used to enjoy PewDiePie, but he changed, and I felt like I lost the connection. 
Fair enough. Um, Kier Chira. I've only watched one full Let's Play of him, and that was an old one. The rest I avoided. Yeah. Uh, so, like I said, everyone has their has their own opinion. Um, Nelsonian. I like PewDiePie. He's not that great, and I do think he's too overhyped and overreacted a lot of stuff like that. I think my problem with PewDiePie is the best way for me to know whether or not I'm going to enjoy... Here's This is the litmus test for me. The best way I can feel like a YouTuber is for me or I'm going to be able to enjoy a YouTuber is I first check to see if they play um, an emotional game, like Telltale's The Walking Dead for example, is a great use of a litmus test. And I think I did this with PewDiePie, is um, I go and ch go to the scenes, because I played the Walking Dead series already. I know what scenes to look for. So I go to the scenes that are super emotional, that I think are tear jerkers and make you cry, and I watch how the Let's Player handles those scenes. I check to see if the, if the Let's Player takes the scene seriously, does he make, you know, too many jokes during those scenes? Does he take the character seriously? Does he get attached to the characters? Does he get attached to the story? Those kind of things. Um, does he really immerse himself in and lets himself get lost to the... lets himself get lost to um, the game and forget that he's broadcasting to an audience and forget that he needs to entertain the audience? Is it real? Is it raw? Is it genuine? You know, is there, do I feel like they're overreacting or over trying to, yeah, do I feel like they're overreacting to like maybe some of the tear jerking scenes? Um, those are the kind of things that I look for because I want, I, I mean, if you, for anyone who knows me, I'm a very genuine, I try to be as genuine as I can. And I'm an open book and I, 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 my reactions are real, guys. My actions are very, very real. And um, I just want to see if there's that authenticity, if there's that genuineness, if there's that sense of, of emotion, you know, human emotion and, and connection to this game. Because that's how I feel about these games. And if this person shares that, if that person is able um, to do that in such a way that makes me feel closer to them in a very emotional way, I, that's the connection. That's how I use my litmus chest. And when I watched PewDiePie do certain scenes in The Walking Dead, I, I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. I just didn't feel feel it at all. I didn't feel the connection. And so that is what's pretty much told me PewDiePie is probably not for me. So and and I, I've done that test with other with other YouTubers as well. So um, Canaris, I can't wait to post that video. No one is stopping you, Hark. Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> no one is. Mm. Should I do a sneak preview? Okay, I tell you what. I am going to seriously, just because Canaris asked so nicely, I am going to... I am going to do a possibly sneak preview of just my reaction to that scene. Just that one Wicked Grace scene and probably post it up maybe this weekend. Put in my list. Wicked Grace because I've already talked about it, and I feel like it's going to take forever for us to get to that scene, so I'm going to have to go dig that up. Find there, happy Canaris, are you happy? <laughs> Find that. See what happens, this is what happens when I live stream, because you guys talk me into these things, talk me into doing all these things, and adding more to my list, and I don't know why I'm putzing around with my, with my mouse thing. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Alright, I'll see if I can do that. I won't promise anything, but I'll, it's on my list, and I'll see if I can get around to it. So I can throw up the Wicked Grace scene. Um, since you asked so nicely. Alright. Um, take a shot. Uh, oh, yeah, take a shot. Um, mm -hmm. I saved before that scene so I can watch it again. <laughs> um, Nelsonian, Hark, did you know if you played The Walking Dead Season 2, no going back on the PS3, you can kill Mike? Uh when he's take yes, I did actually. Uh, somebody informed me of that. Thank you for pointing it out. Somebody did tell me that. But I heard that they fixed it later because it wasn't meant to happen or something. Um, Canaris, Morrigan, Dory, and Bethany would be my team. Four mages for the win. Yeah, I, I, I they're they're cool. Four mages for the win. Um, I'm curious about what you did in the personal quest of Cole. Oh, mm. 
I don't want to give that away. I feel like I feel like I'm already gonna be giving away the Wicked Grace. If I'm gonna do the Wicked Grace video early, I don't want to I don't want to give away what I did with Cole. Um, but rest assured, whatever I do with Cole with art, I'm probably gonna do. I might do the opposite with with Andy, my other Inquisitor. If not Andy, then whoever my third Inquisitor is gonna be Haley. I think I'm gonna name the third Inquisitor Haley um, because Andy and Haley are the two kids from um, my 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 Sim kids in Sims Four. That's where I got the names from. So, um, I'm sorry, Winter Hurts. I don't want to answer that right now. I'm sorry, um, but you'll find out when it gets posted. <laughs> Canaris. Oh, now that you mentioned Awakening, Velana was originally meant to be the one to unite with Justice. Oh, oh. However, due to popularity of Anders and Awakening, they changed the plot, and then Anders ended up not being all that. And then it just destroyed Anders, in my opinion. In my opinion, it destroyed Anders' character. So part of me felt like I wish they did go with Velana instead, so that Anders could still be... They could have brought Anders back as his old self as in, in Inquisition. They could have brought him back in Inquisition as not not just justified. Not justified. <sighs> it's alright. Good check systems, Hark. I can relate to that. Oh, thank you, Winter Hurts. Um, Canaris, all those things you mentioned this way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, got, you know, guys, you can watch PewDiePie too. There's no, there's plenty of people that that. You, there's more than one people you can watch, guys. You don't have to just watch one YouTuber. In fact, I encourage people to watch other YouTubers because, Lord knows, I can't cater to everybody, and I can't. Not all of my videos. I can't do every single video that everyone wants to do, especially. But I'll work on Attack on the Titan. Work on Attack on the Titan. Um. The, uh, Nelsonian, the way PewDiePie reacted to The Walking Dead, no time left. I really felt like he was overacting for some reason. I don't know for some reason. Um, Kia Chira, I, do, I think I do something similar, but I don't do it intentionally. Oh, well, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, there are number duck. I felt that like PewDiePie and other YouTubers totally had no idea what was going on and didn't know half of the characters' names. Um, if he posts the sneak peek, then I, everyone in this channel owes me. I expect pizza. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yes, Canaris, if I post a sneak peek, I will put that in the description. I will say, it'll probably be the first line, all you all owe Canaris a pizza for this. Isn't live streaming fun? You get to tell Angel Arts what to do. You get to influence him to do stuff <laughs> that he wasn't going to do. Oh, live. Oh, this is so dangerous. Reaction video hype. Thanks, Canaris. <laughs> Canaris is now everybody's here all of a sudden. Uh, a full reaction of the pre Yes. A full reaction of the preview. Well, I mean, I'll show you my reaction. I'll show you my actual reaction of, of, of Canaris. So, um, we should all wait for the video about Cole. I'd rather see it than hear it from him now. Yeah. Yeah, With all I'm going to say is that with Cole... I was going back and forth. There was a lot of churning in my head, and I, I voiced everything that was going through my head about Cole, because that was a tough decision. That was pretty hard, because even, even when I put myself in art shoes, I couldn't, I couldn't help but figure out. There, I mean, and of course, obviously, that's not the only thing. A lot of people are wondering about a big, giant choice, without giving it away. There's a big, giant choice that's coming up in the main storyline, because of certain decisions that I made about... about <laughs> Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. about certain... Yeah, I don't want to give it away. You know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Because um, it's coming up. It's coming up relatively soon. Uh, Brian W., are you still playing Sims 4? I actually um, finished my Sims 4 playthrough a few days ago. Um, so there isn't that many episodes left because I think my Sims heart's about to become an elder and he ends up... Um, passing on shortly after. So that video, that series will be ending soon, which I'm glad only because I can, you know, check that off and then move on to something else. Um, because I, and I did enjoy it, but um, it, 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 uh, it I, I need to be able to complete it. Uh, Dark Elf MSV, Dragon Age 2, Anders is really annoying character in my opinion. I can understand his motivations and his change of personality, but seriously, I hate Dragon Age 2 Anders. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand, I understand. I miss, I miss old Anders. 
Art Magi, if, if you could have an NPC besides Cullen, who do you want as a companion? Um, mine is Arthas, the Dalish hunter from Origins, who you had to find his werewolf. He was so perfect to be a companion. Um, that's a good question. Uh, an NPC besides Colin. Yeah, because I probably would have said Colin right away. Um, an NPC. Harding's is cool. I like Harding a lot. Harding is cool. Um, Krem is cool. I like Krem. Trying to think who else I I really I would be really neat to have as a NPC an NPC would join me. Um, hmm, that's a really good question. Yeah, off the top of my head, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Krem, um, Krem and Harding. I think are the ones that pop that pop up for me. Um, they seem like really really lend they lend themselves well to being companions. I think. Um, that's a very good question. Kia Cherry, it wouldn't surprise me if they made some kind of DLC with Anders. Maybe. My dream team, Cole, Isabella, and Zevron. Oh, Team Rogue. Very nice, Team Rogue. They are in Rubber Duck. Since we're talking about Anders, do you know that did you know that the Awakening Anders isn't supposed to be the DA2 Anders? I guess they ran out of time to create a backstory for him or something. Oh. Huh. Yeah, that's mm. But, you know, the decision, they made the decisions and we got what we got. So, Winterherds, I understand you. I would rather wait for the cold video too because I have something to look forward to. Canaris, all you all owe Canaris pizza. Canaris greatly approves. Approval maxed. Kia Chair, we're manipulating Tim. I see we're still playing the game. <laughs> I'm so gullible. So gullible. Canaris' personal quest is to get him a pizza. <laughs> Oh, Canaris. The choice I'm waiting for, the one in the quest here in Lies the Abyss, where you have to... Yeah, mm -hmm, mm. Shh. Shh. It's coming soon. Great. Um, I know his choice. The half-elf is coming soon. Uh, delivered Canaris' pizza. Canaris' companion quest completed. <laughs> you guys are so much fun. You guys are fun. I think here in Lies the Abyss is going to be really difficult for AA. <sighs> Yeah, about that. Mm. I can't hear the name Arthas without thinking of the guy, oh, who became Warcraft spoilers, I'm not going to say. It's old, I and mean, I guess many of you who would know would probably already know it by now. Hark, do you ever, uh, have you ever been in a situation in Dragon Age Origins where you're a blood mage, assassin, or reaver when you started the Broken Circle quest? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think... I think I played a Reaver once, but I think when I played the Reaver, I had already finished the Broken Circle. I didn't play a Blood Mage or an Assassin at all in Dragon Age Origins. Um, the Blood Mage magic was, was, was DA2, my Let's Play with Clive Hawk. Canaris, there's a special scene that only triggers in that situation. I think I know what you're talking about. I think I know that scene that you're talking about. Um, uh, Dus uh, Dusky one. Oh, see, you all saw. See, you all saw that I was reaching the end. You all saw I was reaching the end of the chat box, and they're like, "Quick, ask him more questions before he leaves." <laughs> I know, I know, I know what's going on, guys. Um, do you think Dusky one? Do you think Dragon Age Inquisition will get any expansion packs? I, I would like to believe that there will be DLC of some sort, like a story DLC. Um, at least I hope so. They better because. They, 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 they definitely can... This game, I think, definitely lends itself to having a story DLC. Um, so hopefully that's going to be in the cards very soon. Dark Elf Emsy, related to Blood Mage stuff for DAO. D if you choose to accept the Demon's Blood Mage stuff... Okay, don't want to don't spoil that, so didn't want to say that out loud. Um, it's like The Hobbit. It's ancient. If you don't already know, it's your fault. Uh, but I won't. It'll it'll be up on it'll be up on the board. But I won't say it out loud. I won't say it out loud. But it'll be up on the on the chat. Uh, but which DLC are coming? I want storage chests so badly. Yeah, storage chests would be great. I I I I would. I'm kind of with you there. Kia Chira. I think everyone wants the dang storage chest. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't have that in. Hark, how much episodes of Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z can you remember that you watched? So I I watched um, I watched. My first exposure to Dragon Ball was a Dragon Ball Street Fighting game 
that I played in the Philippines. I don't think it was ever released in the United States. There was an awesome Dragon Ball Z street fighting game, and I ended up loving it. was one of my favorite street fighting games, and I played it with my cousins in the Philippines, and um, that was what introduced me to Dragon Ball, to Dragon Ball Z. And then Dragon Ball came to the United States, and I watched Dragon Ball, and I didn't think it was as cool, because they didn't do the whole Super Saiyan thing at all, and I was kind of waiting for that. So Dragon Ball was okay, I, but because I was introduced to Dragon Ball Z, I was kind of disappointed that Goku was not the Goku that I knew in the video game that I played. And then I started watching Dragon Ball Z. Um, this was like the Deke version, the dub, the Deke version back way back when. And I liked it, I enjoyed it, but it started to get really old really fast, you know, because the plot started really being the same, you know, some big giant strong force comes to like destroy everybody and Goku gets injured or Goku gets lost or something happens to Goku that he can't save the day so, and then or Goku is not strong enough so now he has to train and then after he trains he comes back once everybody is almost dead and he saves the day. I mean from what I had seen it seemed like that was like pretty much the storyline of every single Dragon Ball and and you know people took forever to charge up and and then the guy the announcer guy would be like stay tuned next time for another episode of Dragon Ball Z and it got a little annoying after a while, so um, I think I ended up just sticking sticking with the video games instead, just playing with the fighting video games. Um, if you know, then you're not that gullible. Iron Rubber Ducky, I think Bioware confirmed a long time ago that they were making post campaign story DLC. I would, I think that's to be expected. I think there's that expectation. You really, literally did reach the end of the chat box. Archmage, a DAI DLC with Inquisitor sending three of his companions to the hero for Elden, and you control your warden. <gasps> or the Elysian Warden. Or the Elysian Warden. Either one. Your warden or the Elysian Warden. I would be happy with that. So happy. A DAI DLC. Okay. Uh, I'm already rewatching the Dragon Ball series. That's cool. Uh, we will see you fight dragons. Have you killed all ten? Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I was trying to be as completionist of this game as possible. I think I pretty much did everything in this game that I could. Uh, besides finding, I didn't. I don't think I found all of the all of the um, mosaic pieces. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't find all the mosaic pieces, and I didn't find every single like treasure treasure. You know, when you get the sketches, when you get the sketches that sh that has arrows pointing to places that you're supposed to find on the world map. Um, I didn't find all of those. Other than that, I think I did everything. Um, all the side quests, all the companion quests, kill all the dragons. Um, I, I tended to. I think I ended up saving the dragons for last, um, for the most part. But um, but yeah, I I did everything I could, everything I could with that game, which is why it's very long. And I'm sorry, but I wanted to be thorough. I wanted my first playthrough to be thorough. Okay. Um, if you go completionist, the dragons are too easy. Yeah, that's true. Actually, that is true. The dragons, many of them seemed a lot easier than they should have been. Um, which is a little disappointing, but yeah, that's what happens, I guess, when you spend so much time, you know, looking for everything and doing everything. You 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 level up. You level up pretty quickly. Art Magi. If Dragon Ball Xenoverse, Xenoverse lets you customize the appearance of the character, then it will be awesome. Uh, I like the Dragon Ball series more than Z. I think it's more funny, I think. Fair enough. I think you should check out Dragon Ball Z Battle of the God online. <laughs> Goku dies more than Xena. Uh, Goku suffers from Superman Syndrome. He became so powerful that the only way to create suspense was to somehow give him, is keep him from fighting, which results in a big part of the show of him of waiting for Goku. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Legacy of Goku series on GBA, good. I wish you could go place around places around Thetis for, like, for example, Ravain or Tevinter Imperium. I'm hoping that that's what they'll do for the next Dragon Age game, is go to Ravain or Tevinter. Um, did you get that letter from your warden, Hark? Yes, I did. Lots of squeeing was involved. Yes, I did. Ardmaja, did you just... The warden mission in DAI, I was so disappointing. Seriously, I got really mad. I hope that's right. So, because I wanted to be me, and I only play him as myself, I want to play him more so badly. Um, 
Hark, do you think some DLCs deserve to be part of the game of the year list? Interesting. DLCs? Yeah, um... The final Mass Effect 3 DLC, I think, um, could have could have been a good candidate for Game of the Year. The DLC in and of itself, I thought, was so solid, was so good, um, and I think that's the only DLC that I can think of off the top of my head that by it that could single-handedly be a good candidate for for Game of the Year. Um, put Last of Us DLC in. Oh yeah, I can see the Last of Us. Yes, that. Thank you. Actually, yeah, I can see that too. Last, of, there's a lot of awesome stuff in the Last of Us DLC that I think would have lent itself, lent itself to that. Um, Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods is very different than the usual Dragon Ball Z. You might like it a lot because it's really something new and unexpected. Um, there's a video up on YouTube of a guy who killed the Highland Ravager Nightmare difficulty in about five seconds. Wow. Um, we should really let us more nations. A little disappointed. Also, yeah, Hark, I would love if you play Legacy of Goku series. It's just for Game Boy Advance, so you can play it on emulator. Okay. We'll see what I can. All these games. <laughs> we'll see. I watched that five seconds video. Tempest focus ability all the way. Kitchera, but considering how much exists in just to the two we worked on, in it would have been a little too much to expect it from the base game. I hope it comes as a DLC. It might come as a fourth installation. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut it off there, guys, because I did legitimately reach the bottom. Uh, you guys just didn't type fast enough. So um, go ahead and buy your pizzas for Canaris right now so that you can send it to Canaris. And um, um, if you want, you can wait to see if I actually post the Wicked Grace. I'll try to. I'm really I'm gonna try really hard. Really try that. Um, thank you guys for coming. Um, let's see who of you guys stuck with me this whole time because I want to make sure that I properly send you guys off. Wait, is this is this onion tea? Uh, where I wanted to see all the people. Oh here's all the people. This that's what I was on to look at. So um Kiachira, Punks 13, Dusky One, Art the Magi, Nelsonian, Fire of Legend, Breezigor, Wind Hurts, Winter Hurts, Nameless Red Wolf, Dark Elf MSB, Vince R Vince Rules, The Iron Rubber Duck, Remy Roo, Brian W, Boom Jinx, and Canaris. All of you, thank you guys so much for staying till the very end. Um, you didn't have to do that, but I appreciate you guys staying till the very end of this. I hope you guys enjoyed your time hanging out with me. I will definitely try to do more of this in the future. Like I said, this is sort of my New Year's resolution. Um, and I'll keep you guys posted so we can we can hang out. Um, definitely I will continue doing this for the rest of the Borderlands and the Game of Thrones games. So whenever they're released, I probably will wait till the following weekend or the weekend after to live stream them. Um, and uh, it should be a good time. So, yeah. Um... This choice, see if I get to get to double when you get there, double A. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and for joining me on this live stream. We'll do this again, we'll hang out, have a very happy new year, be safe, enjoy the rest of the weekend, and I will talk to you guys later. Until next time, love yourselves and love each other.